Hey YouTube, it's your girl Miss Ree, and today I am cooking turkey spaghetti. Um, when I say turkey spaghetti, that means I'm using ground turkey. It comes in a round package like hamburger does, or you can get it in the um, container. This is ground turkey, 93.7, which is fresh, lean ground turkey, with natural flavoring. And I got my spaghetti, my thin spaghetti, and my spaghetti sauce, which I'm using the Robusto Ragu Saute Onions and Garlic. All right. So in my pan, I have my ground turkey, which is browning. And what I did was I went to the frozen section, and I got this packet with the... Um, Green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, and onions all mixed together. Um, Pick Sweet has one, but this one is called something else. Um, I get it from Walmart in the frozen food section where the frozen onions and green peppers and all that is. But they have this in there, and they have little parsley flakes in there with it too. So what I did was I took half of this, put it in my frying pan, sauteed them with nothing but garlic powder and oregano and water. That's it. I don't put no grease in it because the um, turkey is going to create its own grease once you put that in there. So once I saute my vegetables, this is what my ground turkey is looking like as it's cooking. Let's see if I can get you a picture of it. Position this camera a little bit. So, that's what it looks like. It's boiling. Over there I have my eggs for my salad. And back there I have my... Um, thin spaghetti. So, like I said, all I'm going to do is cook this so the um, ground turkey is all, you know, cooked up and everything in, into the um, vegetables and I'll just let that cook, you know, until it's done or whatever. And then I'll just put it together like regular spaghetti. So, and it's just, it's ground turkey instead of ground beef. That's all. Because we're trying to get away from beef and I use the ground turkey, and to me, it tastes just as good. By the time you put your cheese on it, your Parmesan cheese on it, and I get the shredded kind and the shaker Parmesan cheese. So, this is how I do it. And I just, you know, I personally don't like chunky um, hamburger. When I eat, I just, I can't. I just don't. I don't like it. Um, people say they're stretching it when you do all that and all that stuff. I mean, you know, to each his own. You call it what you want, but I like mine chopped up. I do not like big chunks of meat in my spaghetti. So, and that's all I do with that. Just keep um, sauteing it. You know, break up the lumps if you want to or not. It's up to you. Just make sure it's all, you know, well cooked. That's all I do. Ooh, I lost the onion. I'll get it. And I just break it up and cook it. So, and then, like I said, after this, you just put it together however you put your spaghetti together. I personally am not going to bake this one, but if I was baking it, then I would do it like I do my lasagna. You know, mix it all together. And as you see, my noodles are done. So I'm going to remove those guys, get them all drained up. Good noodles. I like the thin ones. And what I put in my water was, um, y'all, I need to lose some weight. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Anywho, um, what I put in the water when I'm boiling it is um, garlic powder, um, oregano, and water. That's it. I don't put oil and all that stuff in there because the um, garlic powder, oh, and regular salt. The regular salt to me keeps it from sticking together. So, and this is all I'm going to do with this. So, this is my burden. So, I'll be back with part two to see what else I can show you girls.